This is our territory. God gave us this country. And we signed treaties with the Americans thinking that they would take them as seriously as we take them as sacred covenants. It's all too familiar that our ancestors had to deal with some of those same issues, right, in a different way. We want something you have, and we're going to use force to get it. It's a new time for our people since Standing Rock. We are pushed to the edge. That's what Ihung Tua means, the people on the edge. So as the people on the edge, we are the ambassadors to the outside world. They say I was uncivilized. Well, I don't know. I thought I was civilized because I had a heart. I had a way of life. I had generosity. And they beat me, and they called that civilization. It's a great day to be indigenous, isn't it? I recognize every single person here, and I thank you all so much for caring enough about our future that you would come and share this day with us today. It's an important time in our country's history, in our world's history. It's time for us to stand up for the environment. It's time for us to stand up for our people. Respected by my elders, I've been following tradition. When you talk about a warrior, what's the definition? Why are there no Lakota-speaking millionaires? Why? Because if we had all the wealth that was looted from us and continues to be to this day, we could liberate this entire country. We would share all of it. For fighting with your brothers, we should learn to stand together. Legendary status, they'll remember us forever. We need to pave the way for the future generations. We are starting upon this process of decolonization. No one's done this before. We are taking the first steps towards a new way of life. We don't know how much time we have. So if it's the last hurrah, we have an obligation to protect our people. When you talk about a war 